welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we will be installing additional memory into a Power Mac G5. We are using a Power Mac G5 1.8 GHz late 2004 model for demonstration, but the process is the same for all model G5s. First, shut down the machine and disconnect all the cables, including the power cable. Lift up on the access door release lever and pull the door towards you to remove. Next, we will remove the air baffle from the machine. This part simply lifts up and out. The final piece to remove is the fan assembly unit. This easily slides outward when held from the top. The memory slots are found behind this unit. Gently lay the machine on its side with the access opening facing up. You will notice that there are two banks of memory slots. The memory is notched to match the slot so that the memory only fits in in one direction. Memory should be added in pairs with matching memory modules installed in each bank, working from the inside outwards. To install the memory module, simply line it up with the slot, then push it evenly into place. In this example, we installed the first memory module into the second slot from the center on the bottom bank. The matching module must then be installed in the second slot from the center on the top bank. You can keep adding memory to the system as long as the memory is installed in pairs and you install from the inside slots to the outside slots, as shown here. At this point, you finished the installation and can put the machine back upright. The fan assembly slides right back where it came from. You'll see there is a small plug at the top of this unit that plugs into the motherboard. Just make sure it is fully seated so the fans will have power. The air baffle is then returned to its position. Just line up the three tabs in the baffle with the three slots at the bottom and the baffle will close into place. Finally, replace the access door. Return the latch to its closed position and the access door will be held in place. You are now ready to plug the cables back in and turn on the machine.